Alrighty y'all, we're getting a video about Foz and the Mexican. Today I'm going to be doing a review on a new LED light that I got. This is the first time I ever had one, so I'm going to try to be as detailed as I can possibly be. And as be as quick as I can, I don't want y'all to be sitting here for forever trying to hear everything. So, let's get to it, alright? Alright, here we go y'all. The light came in a ship very nicely in the Amazon box of course Prime. Uh, Amazon Prime always makes sure they take care of their customers. So... Send it to this big old box. Has some air pillows in here to keep the box from moving around, damaging anything. The light itself sat inside this beautiful little box that says LED Grow Light Budding the Harvest. That's pretty nice. Tells you what kind of watch that you got. The light you got is 300 GL300. It's a high grow brand. And it came with foam protecting it. Nice inch foam on top. And then the light itself was wrapped in plastic so to keep from dust and debris. Making sure that uh, you got a clean light. And then the light sits in here nice and snug and it's nice. It's like an inch and a quarter thick foam padding so that the light stays secure. Sat in there nicely. And then the light gives you a hangers to hook to the back of the light so that you can hang it from this hangers. And these are pretty nice. These are a uh, steel cable. That has plastic sheathing on the outside, so it's uh nice and smooth. It doesn't gonna ain't gonna cut you or burn you or anything like that. If you keep bending it, of course you'll break the plastic. But steel cable, it's nice. Comes with a little hanger right here. Push them like that. Hooks onto the bottom of the light. I'll show you that in just a second. And of course the clasp. So when you hang it from uh, wherever hook or anything you're gonna hook it to, it does it. But this is nice because. When you hook it up to the light, it automatically balances your light. So your light is hanging level. And so here we go. This is the actual light. It has 60 5 watt LED lights. And if you look, I can show you like this. You can see how they got like little cones. They're little cones. And what those cones do is they help to magnify the light and focus it down like you're supposed to be. So, they all have that, but it's weird because they jiggle. They're not solid, straight, tight. They don't, they don't, I thought they would not move, but they can actually move around. I don't know if you hear it. Oh, well, well, I don't want to damage the light. But the light, uh, the light is pretty nice. It's, uh, it's a flat white finish. Very pretty. Not too big. It's eight and a quarter. By 12 and a quarter by what is that two and five eighths so uh it's not a very big light it has everything built in it has the controls everything comes with the power cord power cord is only three feet long i wish it was longer than that but it's a good high quality cord so it just plugs in very simple here the light comes with veg and bloom settings so you can either have just veg or just bloom or you can have both full spectrum because that's what it is it's a full spectrum light and that's how they do it is by allowing you to choose if you want red spectrum or blue spectrum blue spectrum is for veg which plants use blue light to absorb um the blue light and veg and then during bloom or flowering or fruiting then you need the red spectrum to help those grow. And the leaves use some of that light, but it's mainly for flowering, fruiting, and vegetable growth. So, very important to have both full spectrum when you're growing certain plants. <coughs> Let's flip this over real quick so you can see the bottom. And as you can see, this is where the hangers would connect to like this they connect like that you put all four and that way you can hang nice and level they're very sturdy they don't move it's very well constructed this is nice thick metal it's about um i want to say a millimeter and a half to two millimeters um thick steel so it's nice very nice very well constructed i did plug it in and turn it on and i don't know if it's a two cycle fan that has high and low settings as it gets hotter it gets faster because when I first plugged it in for 10 minutes, 
it's just barely blows any air. I guess it's just enough to move it through there because the light doesn't burn very bright. So uh, I guess they don't need a whole bunch of fan to cool it off because it has slits all around it. There are air vents going in that way air can flow in through other components, cooling them off, and then going out through here to the exhaust fan. And down here it has a description of what you got. It says LED grow light model HG GL300. Input power is 300 watts, 60 by 5 watt. Input rating is 100 to 240 volts AC. Input current is 1.2 to 2.8 amps. Frequency is 50 to 60 hertz. It is not waterproof. It's plain as day, <laughs> not waterproof. So very, be very careful if you're misting your plants, watering them once a week, rinsing them uh, leaves off and stuff. Make sure not to get no water on this light because it, I imagine it will fry it pretty quickly. It will break the light because this does create heat. And just like any glass that gets heated and you throw cold water on it, it will shatter. So be very careful with that. But let's turn it on so you can see how it looks. Right now I'm going to put it in veg mode. And that is really, really bright. And right now in veg mode, of course, it's mainly blue, blue spectrum so that the plant can veg nicely. And you can hear it. You can hear it going. Now, I don't know if I should keep it like that. But let's move it like this. So that you can see how blue it is and of course the camera is distorted by the the way the led you know goes spectrum goes you can see the waves and the light but as you can see even though it's mainly blue it does have some fine reds yellows in there it also has what looks like a green light but this green light right here it's really obsolete because plants do not absorb green light. Uh, that's why they reflect it, because they don't absorb it. So for right now, the majority is blue spectrum bulbs here, red spectrum. And because I have the bloom off, the rest of the red spectrum are off. So it's mainly just blue for right now. And this doesn't create very much heat. I noticed that only about five to six inches away from the actual light is where you can start feeling heat. So you can keep this 12 to 18 inches away from your plant, your plant will never feel the heat from this LED light. That's pretty cool because I had that 430 watt full spectrum bulb in a 400 watt light setup and the heat was so bad that if I was a foot and a half away 18 inches, I was getting uh, sunburn. It was so hot. And anybody who grows with high pressure sodium knows if you touch it, your skin's going to cook to it quickly. So this is the veg mode. Let me turn this off. Let the light adjust. Yeah, this is actually very bright. It's nice. And so here is the bloom mode. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Now let's turn that baby toward the wall. Back up a little bit. And as you can see, with the camera adjusts, it's mainly red. And that's because bloom red is very important during the blooming stage of a plant life cycle. So it's very important that you get those light spectrums correct. And that's the beauty of LEDs. LEDs can concentrate that spectrum of light perfectly. And that is what High Grow is giving you the opportunity to do is to control your light spectrum by having two different switches, one for veg and one for bloom. And you can also have them both at the same time and have the full benefit of what like the sun gives you basically. The sun will give you all the spectrums. So right now, that's just the bloom on, and it's pretty bright. It's not bright enough to where I can just stare at it, but that's only the, because of the reflection from the wall. If I actually turn it toward me and look right at it, it's so bright that I will start getting eye strain from doing that. So I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to look at the light directly. I told you don't do that. But uh, here I'm going to go ahead and turn on the veg also so that we can see how bright it is with both of them. See now. Okay. Camera doesn't do it justice, but trust me, because it's both spectrums going, so now you have twice the amount of light. So you have a full 300 watt compatibility. Um, not compatibility, comparability to the other lights out there. Um, it's pretty darn bright. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm amazed. I've never had LEDs. Uh, I've just seen them on a lot of video reviews and. 
This is the first time I've actually had one in my hand. Um, I can't wait to test it out to see how it grows. My plans. Uh, and see how, how good they do. But the only thing I don't like about it is the cord. The power cord to me could have been a lot bigger. A lot longer. Um, this is only three feet. And if you're having to have your timing lights your power cord your all that other stuff you really can't put it far away from your growing chamber so if you're growing in a grow tent or a grow box or a closet or wherever you're growing in a grow cabinet you kind of limited to this cord being within three feet of wherever your power supply is so and like anybody who grows using extension cords is not the best option um, you can always hardwire a, a box plug on the side uh, so you can be close to the light and to your grow center but um yes you can get a uh, like a whole power cord that has 10 10 you know it's designed to withstand the the energy so that it doesn't burn up or anything even though this doesn't use as much as the high pressure sodium still safety first so um uh, other than that, so far the light looks good, and uh, there will be more reviews later as the videos go and the grow goes. I'll let you know. I'll put a, a simple little tomato plant, maybe a better bush or something, something small. That way uh, y'all can grow and compare it to something that y'all have in y'all town and state, okay? Okay, y'all. Well, this has been my review on this high grow 300 watt uh, LED light, full spectrum. And uh, I sure do appreciate it. Y'all appreciate the light. That was very nice. Um, very cheap. It's $96.99 at Amazon. I don't have a link to it. Just type in high glow 300 watt and boom, it will pull up. And you also have a 600 watt light. Uh, that would be nice to test out to see how bright that one is because this one's pretty bright. But okay, y'all. Thank you for your time and have a, have a great day.